Basically, um, what I wanted to talk about today is, uh, it's a Saturday. I actually just came back from uh, the park. Um, I basically did, like Saturday a lot of times I seem to do bone conditioning on my knuckles and shins on uh, the trees. What I usually do is, um, and I do, for some reason, um, it, it turns out it, it's a pull-up day also a lot of times. It lands on a pull-up day. Or I may have done something like uh, like yesterday on Friday. I basically did dead hangs, but I did them with one arm <coughs> on each arm. You know, um, I basically did a dead hang on one arm and then rested. And in between, I actually did do some dips in between a little bit, now that I recall it. And then when it came Saturday morning, I was out to the park, and I went in the area where there's brush and there's trees, and I did some pull-ups. I tried to make them explosive, um, because I, I usually, I try to make pull-ups explosive, because my actual goal isn't to do a bunch of pull-ups, it's just to get uh, able to get up on the bar and perch and transition from the bar so it's, it's mostly for climbing but uh then when i did the conditioning i had to go to a large tree i mean this tree is really really large like really wide and i basically did the conditioning on my shins and knuckles on that wide tree and then i had to get to a little tree or ba baby trees they really are that are thinner than this even you see this stick they're thinner than that and what I use the thin trees for the really really thin little trees like they're they're almost like um kind of like a broomstick I guess you could say maybe thinner I don't know um sometimes they're thicker but I use those for precision in single knuckles because when you're hitting when you're trying to hit with the knuckle right you know think of it like when you're using a blade how you want to have edge alignment like you want to hit with the edge and you want your edge to hit an edge align your knuckles you don't want to be hitting like with this middle part here you're not you don't want to be hitting with this you know you want to be hitting with everything on here you know so you find that when you try to hit those little little targets like that, like think how small a person's chin is, you know what I mean? When you, tr when you try to hit that little branch, you'll find that <laughs> you'll find that you'll miss, and then you'll have to realign, you'll have to readjust, which helps with your technique. And then when you actually hit it, you'll often, which is, I'll, I'll say it's not kind of dangerous, but it's the honest truth. You will, f but it's just, it's conditioning, so it's making your knuckles stronger you will find that a single knuckle ends up grazing or making very solid straight contact with that small tree you know what i mean because it's very thin you know um the problem is and, and i'll put it like this if you hit it with just your your palm you know you'll usually it's easier for you to hit it at least for me um but then at that point, that's a different type of hit. It's more you're you're more or less slapping at that point, you know. And everyone's palms are tough as shit. So this is conditioning your knuckles. This is not conditioning your palms. My palms are already pretty damn tough. But, but that's what I did today, okay. But that's not really what I want to talk about. What I really want to talk about is I want to talk about how there is a connection between 
tactile sensitivity and your bare feet. There is a connection, okay? Now, I would say just in general, it, it's a good thing to not wear shoes so much. I really don't like to wear shoes a lot. Um, because it just doesn't feel natural. That's the thing. It, does, it doesn't feel natural. And honestly, it's not really that natural. It, it's natural to an extent, but it's not exactly so natural for your feet. Okay, because one, when you take too much pressure off of your bare foot and you rely on the shoe, your foot doesn't have the proper development that it really should have. Because what you're doing is you're kind of using the support of a shoe as a crutch. Okay? And that leads to not only a very, what's the word, um, muscularly atrophied type of foot where your toes are not so, uh, what's the word, um, move, as movable as they should be. The bend in your foot is not as good as it should be. And your arch, like your arches are, are weaker because you're relying so much on the support of that shoe. Okay? Um, you could over... I guess like women wear, a lot of times women will wear heels and they wear high, very high heels. Now sometimes wearing those for extended periods, that's kind of an over training of your foot really, you know what I mean? You want your foot to be flexible, but you want your foot at times to be able to be flat footed. And then you also want to be able to get up on the balls of your feet and you want to have buoyancy. You want to be, be able to <laughs> fucking stick fight. <laughs> I guess it's not a... Maybe I'll try to bleep that out, man. I don't want these these rants to be always not 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 appropriate. I want them to be appropriate sometimes. So I hope you get what I'm trying to say. What I'm what I'm trying to explain. So there are benefits. What I'm saying there are benefits to having bare feet. Okay. Um, and there are huge benefits to wearing shoes, depending on what type of terrain you're on. And there's glass everywhere. You got to think you live in, like me, you live in a, a more of a urban environment, and you have to go places. There's going to be glass, you know. So, it's, I mean, you don't you don't want to step on glass. But I mean, you should be looking out for it anyway. But the thing is, you want to have. This is Kool-Aid, by the way. This Kool-Aid is, um, it could have been sweeter, but, uh, it's pretty darn good. I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, anyway, the benefits are somewhat benefit of tactile sensitivity because you, without shoes, you feel what's under your feet. You have to adjust. You have to, ad to adjust to what is under it. And you have to adjust how you're standing, where your balance is. You have to adjust how much pressure you're putting down. Because if you just have a shoe, you know, you could be stepping on a nail, possibly or a tack. You're not going to feel it. And you're going to put all your weight on it. When you don't have shoes, you don't want to stab your foot. So you're going to literally have to eat, adjust the pressure. That's what I mean about tactile sensitivity. You're going to know when to give a certain amount of pressure, when to pull back when to put weight on one leg, when to take the weight off the other. And it's um, it's a functional thing. It's a naturally functional thing. And the thing is, if you wear shoes too much, then you lose a lot of that sensitivity. And you your feet, honestly, you, you lose a lot of the strength in your feet. Your feet don't have a lot of the strength and toughness that they really need. Well, maybe they don't need it, but I mean, for a healthy foot, that is beneficial. There are literally people, a lot of people don't know about this, but there are, literally, there are foot doctors out there, but there are literally people that put people through the ringer, literally, and have them step on certain things and do certain type of exercises to do exactly what I'm talking about. And it's no fun, honestly. It can be actually quite painful if you're really not used to putting that pressure on your feet. You know what I mean? Think of it like you trying to walk on Legos purposely, or you walking on um, the gravelly side of the train track on purpose. You know that there are benefits to that. Now the thing is, there's a limit. If you overdo it, then you will have problems with your feet. 
Like you'll have calluses that are too overdeveloped. You'll have pains because there's a pressure of things that aren't level ground that are you know um, sticking up, constantly pushing up on the bones of your feet and, and your nerves. That's not good if it's in excess. But this is the thing: you don't want to do do things in excess. You want to do things moderately and gradually work your way up because there's levels and you have to know your limits too that's another thing know your limits like for instance know when you're about to tear something in your foot like come on you got you got to be able to sense when you feel pain and it's and something is going to tear okay so that's use your common sense okay but this what i'm ta talking about is basically something that i implement something that i do something that you can implement in everyday life that is very beneficial to your feet. And I also have to add on to this rant is what one, what's one of the reasons why your feet are so important is simply because, think of it, you walk on your feet. You don't walk on your knees. <laughs> I mean, do, do you? <laughs> I don't know, do you? I bet some of you out there do, because you're freaky. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But what I'm saying is, you gotta think of the way of how, think of this. The end of your arm is your hand. It ends with your fingers and your hand. Okay? Is the middle important? Yes, it's important. Are the ends of a thing very important? Do things get weaker as it gets to the end? Think, Really think of it. Like, the tips of your fingers are weak. They can easily be broken. Your toes can easily be broken. But think of all of that weight that you literally put on them when you do everyday things. So the end of a thing, like the end of your feet, the end of your hands, they have to be very tough. Naturally, they are pretty tough because you've been walking on them for years, for your, almost your whole lifetime. You've been doing, especially if you're very, very active, they've been coming in contact with things for a long time. But to take it a step further is to train those things, okay, to make them stronger, okay? So there's a lot of strength, believe it or not, there's a lot of strength in the ends from the calf down and like to the finger up to your wrist. There's a lot of strength there, okay? And for it to be healthy and strong, generally, it should be trained. You can, and you can passively train this. This is what I mean. What I mean by passively training it is just forget the shoes, you know, just drop the shoes, because I, I do it all the time, you know, um, so, well, obviously, if you're going inside of a store or something, keep them on, but I'm saying if you're walking, you know, to this, to an area, if you're going to be training in an area, just leave the shoes behind, or, you know what I mean, keep them in your bag, that's why I keep them in my bag, you know, leave, drop the shoes, leave them behind, um, that's pretty much <laughs> what it is, you know, because, Someone may say, oh, well, I don't think I'm going to feel anything, you know. Um, <sighs> and I'm going to pour some more, man. Stuff is, stuff is better than I thought it was. Let's get another cup. <laughs> so <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say is someone might say oh I don't I don't think did I just drop a ring I don't know that did. but someone someone will try to say well I don't think I'm gonna feel anything <laughs> you don't think you're gonna feel anything maybe okay <laughs> You're Fred Flintstone. That's good, then. Then you are way ahead of the game. But I, I guarantee a lot of people, because there's people that go hiking. Right? right? You go hiking. Uh, camping. Right. You play sports. I mean, right. Like You do a lot of things. You do some martial arts. You explore things. But have you done it barefoot, though? <laughs> See, that's the thing. See, so when you when you when your foot touches, I don't care what it is, it could be it could be the first rock that you really 
you really leap on. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're, you put all your weight on it and you feel how it hits the middle of your foot. You know, and you're like, whoa. You know, you're like, oh, whoa, I felt that. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. But see, the thing is, over time, your nerves get used to things. Not ex ex super excessive, but you're little and gradually, over time, your nerves get number to certain things so your feet get tougher so something that maybe you would have like tiptoed around on, you get to a certain point where you just stomp right over it and you just keep going you, know? you just stomp right over it. you don't care you know so that's really what this rant is about do you have a foot fetish or something i don't know Maybe maybe that's all someone's thinking about when they're watching this because they had a freaking foot fetish. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with that. I mean, I like a pretty foot on a woman. Depending on the woman. You know. <laughs> but uh, that's what this rant is about. Um, I'm trying to keep it shorter. That's, this is the end of the rant. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is uh, Steve's Art and Fun. I think I may try to edit the cursing out because I want this to be able to be like... Uh, complete video not a adult video so like comment subscribe share have a nice day